Hey guys, we're gonna be doing a very famous algorithm question that's given all the time in interviews today. Uh, this is called reversing a linked list. Hopefully you guys know what a linked list is. If you don't, I would recommend going and learning about that before we uh, tackle this problem and then come back here. But right now, this, this is the linked list we're gonna start with. A linked list is really a bunch of nodes that point to each other, so each one of these little blocks is a node. So it looks like our list right now is one, two, three, four, five. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna reverse this list. So by the time we're done with this algorithm, we want it to kinda look like this output right here where it's five, four, three, two, one. Um, to, hopefully you're familiar with traversal of a linked list. You usually use a loop. Uh, you have your head pointer, which is what we'll have in this problem. You'll have a previous node and the head pointer will start at one and we're going to say while head is not equal to one, we're going to say head is equal to head dot next. And that's how we're going to traverse this list. We're going to use the pointers to actually reverse um, the list and point the head dot next into the previous node. So that's kind of the basis for this problem. And now we're actually going to start coding it right now. This problem is on LeetCode, very popular platform for algorithm studying and problems. So I'll link the, I'll actually put the link to the specific problem in the description of this video so you can follow along if you'd like. Um, right now, we already just went over this on the whiteboard, but we're just going to reverse a singly linked list. So it looks like our input is the same as the one I just did on the board. One, two, three, four, five, null, and output would be the reverse. Um, we're actually not given the whole list. When you're given a linked list, you're usually given reference to the head. So we're actually given reference to this one right here. And to traverse it, we're going to need to loop, like I said. So while head is not equal to null, this would be a basic traversal of the linked list. You would say head equals head dot next, right? And that would go through all of them because you would be, have one, you would say, okay, while one's not null, you do one is equal to two. And now you have two, and then you go to three, four, until you get to the end. And you could see what we actually have reference to right here in our list node class. So we can access a value, and we can access the next node. Um, how we're going to solve this problem is we're actually going to grab, uh, we're going to make a variable list node next node is equal to head.next. And we're going to use that uh, to kind of solve this problem. So the way that we really want to solve this problem is we want to have access to a previous node. Because what we need to do is we need to make this previous node. We don't have access to it right now, but we need to make it so that we can take our head node's value and set the next to the previous. And then we're going to move the head and the previous along simultaneously, if that makes sense. So you're going to say, OK, list node previous, because the previous to the head is null. There's nothing before the head. So we'll say list node prev is equal to null, right? Now, when we loop through, we're going to want to say, OK, head.next is equal to prev. So we kind of just reverse the pointers. And then we're going to just have to say, OK, then prev is equal to head, and head is equal to next node. Now, to explain this a little more, we can run we can submit run the code and submit how this works, and we'll return previous, and it's going to work, um, and we get 100% success rate. Um, just one more time to kind of walk through how this works really quick. I'll highlight these things as we go through. Previous, we make a previous node, and the previous to a head is null. There's nothing before it. Now we have the next node is two. So now we have a previous is null, the head is one, the next node is two. We set one.next to null, and then we put point the previous and head nodes to the, we, we just loop them along. I think I'm gonna have to show this on the whiteboard. This is the main bulk of our code throughout the loop. So we're kind of looping through the linked list, and we're saying, this is our head right now. We made this reference to the previous node, which is null before this head. We have one, two, three. One is the head, null is prev, and the next node would be two, right? So what we're saying as we loop through 
is we're saying, OK, head.next, we're making the reference to the next node. Right now, head.next is 2. We're actually saying, OK, screw that. That's not true anymore. We're making head.next equal to prev. You know what I'm saying? So, and then after that, we're saying, OK, now prev is going to be head. So we're going to say, OK, prev is now head. And then we're saying head is now next node. So we're saying, OK, head is now this node. So you keep repeating that process. And this would be next node now, if that makes sense. And then you're saying, OK, head.next is equal to prev. And once head.next is equal to prev, prev is equal to head, repeats the same process. And then head is equal to next node. And you could obviously see how you're removing the references to next node and making them, you're setting the next head's next node to the previous node. And in the end of it, you're going to have a reversed linked list where the, the last node, in this case 3, is actually going to be the head node. And by the end of it, prev is going to be here. And that's why we return it, because this will be the head node. And you can really just imagine this as 3, 2, 1. It's, uh, if that makes sense. So that's pretty much it for reverse linked lists. It's a very famous problem. I highly recommend getting familiar with problems like these, because you'll probably get asked these in interviews. I've actually been asked this question before, and um, it's really important to understand. So I'll be posting a lot more content like this on Patreon. So I really uh, just want to say thank you for anyone who is a patron of mine right now. And uh, sorry it took so long to start posting.